a network of hundred sensors measuring air pollution in real time have been installed around Verts University and Soweto. The sensors feed information through to a central database where artificial intelligence or AI is used to analyze the data. Scientists monitoring the sensors can then see where the air pollution hotspots are occurring and specially developed self-teaching AI is used to analyze the readings. Currently, air quality is measured by the South African Air Quality Information System. The system has 130 stations countrywide, which are quite costly to maintain. What we basically encounter is the, a great charge. Uh, is the cost of systems, the cost of devices that measure the air quality and provide modeling and prediction. So that's where we came in and said, look, um, if we combine cost-effective technologies in an integrated system and wrap everything with artificial intelligence, we will be able to bring down the price of and the cost of monitoring air quality um, very, very strongly and very, very seriously, which is what we have done. We had to go for technologies uh, that are cost-friendly, so it's not just cost-effective in the sense that we're going to have like substandard. We have cost eff efficiency as well as quality. According to these innovators, this is a really good development for South Africans living in polluted areas as the system provides information that is vital for authorities to identify and do something about main sources of pollution for them to make strategic health choices. So devices like this, they're going to be able to pinpoint to you where the pollution is, where the sources are, and besides that, they're also going to assist you to focus because it's not only just the device, the hard device. We are also running some artificial intelligence with it as well that we can um, focus air pollution. We can take this to the sporting field to be able to detect what are kids breathing in while they are playing sports. South Africa's health department asserts that air pollution is one of the top causes of ill health in the country, with chronic lung diseases being a big concern. This team intends to deploy these sensors around the country and to the rest of the continent. Yuli Sanjamala for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.